If you're a podcaster looking for new ways to promote your podcast, you've probably found these audiogram video clips that people share on social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and they look something like this. A life in the midst of a pandemic, which would eventually turn into civil unrest that would culminate in an American insurrection. And they're really effective for giving potential listeners a sneak peek at the content of your show. So in this case, this is a, a short, you know, two, three minute clip. There's an, a visual element to it because people can see the text even if their audio is muted on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. And uh, then you can also link to your subscribe page or the episode page and get folks to listen to the full thing there. So it, it can be a really effective way to uh, promote your show. And a lot of folks want to know how to create these kinds of clips. Now, there's a bunch of third-party tools out there. Um, there's one called Headliner.app. They're great. Uh, but the one that I like the best is uh, Descript. Descript is podcast recording and editing software with a twist. You drag in your MP3 file, and then instead of editing a waveform like down here, which you can do, I could, I can, for example, just pull this and clip that. It, you can also edit by highlighting, deleting, and moving text. The thing I'm concerned about okay. is that now the, the wonderful thing about this is they have a built-in way to create these audiogram video clips that not a lot of people know, not a lot of people know about it. So I want to show it to you. And here I've got this episode of the podcast. There's two speakers. It's automatically transcribed our audio and our text. And now I'm going to create an audiogram clip to promote this episode. So I'm going to select the the piece that I think is the best uh, the best trailer uh, for this particular episode. I'm going to right click, click clip to composition. Now I could just highlight this and export the highlighted piece as an audiogram, but I want to edit this a little bit more. So going to click new and I'm going to rename this uh, Mega Maker app 6 and then early access is stressful on software developers because that's kind of the hook for this particular clip. I'm just going to put on my headphones so I can hear what I'm doing here and now I'm going to edit the show. So one thing I'm concerned about okay. is that early access can be stressful on the person in engineering because there's going to be things that people struggle with. Okay, so I want that piece there, but I don't want this next section, so I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to just start playing from here. Struggle with. And, mm -hmm. um, the, and so I want to shorten this up, remove the um. There we go. And mm -hmm. the danger is that, it, that, all, that these people joining... So I'm going to remove the extra words there. All that these people joining, and a, there, we know there's going to be, it's not going to be a perfect product when they first join. And the day, okay, and I'm going to fix some of the uh, people joining. So this is actually joining. I can just click E and fix the text because the text is going to create that audio clip, right? Uh, joining sorry, that, that visual clip. There's a big space here that I want to shorten up. Okay, I'm going to finish, fix up some of these formatting issues. Okay, so that's going to be the clip right there. So I'm going to uh, just have this nice 24 second clip that's kind of people's attention span. And now I'm going to click, I'm going to create the audiogram. To do that, I'm going to click Publish, and I'm going to click Export, and you'll see there's a bunch of options here. I'm going to choose Audiogram, and down here we get a little preview of how it's going to look. I can also choose different styles by scrolling through the options here. I can also choose an accent color, so I might want to have 
uh, pink instead. So you'll see that shows up there. Uh, I can choose a background image if I want. I can also choose to have a little custom image appear there. So if I click that, I can go and choose the, the logo in this case for this podcast. So let's, let's choose this one here. And now just actually fix that up there, click publish. Okay, now let's go back to audiogram. There we go, now the title's fitting quite nicely. And to export this as a video file, I just have to click publish. It's going to generate that audiogram. And now I can tweet this out. Uh, let me load up Twitter. All right, so here is the podcast account on Twitter. And here's a great episode you might have missed. And now I'm going to upload the audiogram I created. It's right here. I can even play it for you folks. Okay. Is that early access can be stressful on the person in engineering. So that's what folks are gonna see on, on Twitter. That's what's gonna play. And I'm going to also link this to the episode page. Listen to it here. And there you go. That's how you create an audiogram, uh, one of these visual audio clips for your podcast for promotion in Descript. It's especially helpful if, like me, you are already recording and editing in Descript because, you know, I, in this case, I already had the episode edited and all I had to do was go in and find that clip that I wanted. So highly recommend using Descript. If you're not using it already, head over to Descript.com. And Descript works really well with Transistor.fm if you're using us for podcast hosting. So hand in hand, Descript and Transistor is a great way to record, edit, <laughs> distribute, and promote your podcast. I uh, hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Transistor is modern podcast hosting. It's the easy way to upload your audio, submit your show to Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and get listener analytics. If you're looking to start a podcast in 2021 or you have existing podcasts that you want to migrate, get a 14-day free trial by going to Transistor.fm.